the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Well without end. Amen. Let us rejoice in the Lord. With, with songs, songs, let, let us praise, praise him. Coming out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Let us rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. Lord. With songs, songs let, us let us praise, praise him. him. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his Son are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shed by his hands. Let, let us, us rejoice in the Lord, Lord. with songs let, let us praise, praise him. him. Come in, let us bow and bend low, let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Let, let us rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, Lord. with songs, songs let us praise him. him. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Are not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massar in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work? Let us rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, Lord with songs, let us praise him. For forty years I was weary of these people, and I said, their hearts were astray. These people do not know my ways. And I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Let us rejoice in the Lord, with songs let us praise him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us rejoice in the Lord, with songs let us praise him. Hymn 447. Word of God from Mary's womb, born to die for our salvation, Laid to rest within, within the tomb, tomb. risen Lord, Lord of all creation. creation. Bread of life with new life, life feed us, bread from heaven to heaven lead us. Shepherd came for us, us you bled, guard your sheep in love's safe keeping. Welcome, Welcome home your faithful dead, dead. where no sound is heard of weeping. Loving shepherd walk beside them, through death's darkness safely guide them. Living Lord, Lord, you conquer dead. dead. Come and, and take, take away our sadness. Breathe on us the Spirit's breath. breath. Give, Give us hope of heaven's gladness. Whether peace, peace or sorrow healing, healing. speak your Father's love revealing. Healing. When can I enter and see, see the face, the face of, of God? God. They are the dear that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is testing for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how would I lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you, from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep in the roar of waters. Your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I'll sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by my foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Oh, in God, I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Show when us, can Lord, I enter and see, see the, the face, face of, of God. God. Oh, 
Show us, Lord, the light, the light of, of your, your mercy. mercy. Save us, God, of all things. Strike all the nations with terror. Raise your hand against foreign nations, that they may see the greatness of your might. Our suffering prove your holiness to them. Let their downfall prove your glory to us. Let them know, as we ourselves know, that there is no other God but you. Give us signs again with further wonders. Close your hand, your right arm in glory. Assemble all the tribes of Jacob, as when they first received their inheritance. Pity the poor people called by your name. Pity Israel chosen as your firstborn. Have compassion on the holy city, Jerusalem, the place of your rest. Let Zion ring with your praises. Let your temple be filled with your glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Show us, Lord, Lord, the light, the light of, of your, your mercy. mercy. Blessed are you, Lord, in the vault Lord of, of heaven. heaven. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends to all the earth. Their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent. Rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its cause. There is nothing concealed, it is burning heat. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed, Blessed are you, Lord, Lord in the, the vault of, of heaven. heaven. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. When your words came, I had devoured them. Your word was my delight and the joy of my heart. For I was called by your name, Lord God of Sabaoth. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just. O oh, praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Sing to him a new song. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Blessed be the Lord, for he has visited us and freed us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who are his prophets from of old. A Saviour to free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled. And his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you should be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, true forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, Lord for he has visited us, us and freed us. us. Christ has given us all a share in his priesthood. We offer our prayers in ourselves in union with him. Lord, accept our love and service. Jesus Christ, you are the eternal priest. Make this morning's offering acceptable to the Father. Lord, accept our love and service. 
Lord, you are love itself. Grant that way we, we may love you. Lord, accept our love and service. Give us today the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Make us patient, kind, and gentle. Lord, accept our love and service. Give us the discernment to know the needs of our neighbors and give us the courage to love them as brothers and sisters. Lord, accept our love and service. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And lead us lead not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Amen. Almighty Lord and God, protect us by your power through the course of this day, even as you have enabled us to begin it. Do not let us turn aside to any sin, but let our every thought, word and deed aim at doing what is pleasing in your sight. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, on God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us say the prayer for priests, eternal Father. Father, we thank, we thank you, you for every priest who has faithfully given his life, life for the salvation, salvation of his brothers and sisters. And sisters. We give thanks to those priests who have brought us your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, to your Son, Jesus Christ, call the apostles to follow him. We ask you to raise up new and generous vocations to the priest in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of every generation to your call, and enable them not to be afraid. May to recognize the joy of giving their whole lives, lives in love through Jesus, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, our Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Mary Quicker. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. 
You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray, O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. James, from James, servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, greetings to the twelve tribes of the dispersion. My brothers, you will always have your trials, but when they come, try to treat them as a happy privilege. You understand that your faith is only put to the test to make you patient. But patience too is to have its practical results so that you will become fully developed, complete, with nothing missing. If there is any one of you who needs wisdom, he must ask God, who gives to all freely and ungrudgingly. It will be given to him. But he must ask with faith and no trace of doubt, because a person who has doubts is like the waves thrown up in the sea when the wind drives. That sort of person in two minds, wavering between doing different ways, must not expect that the Lord will give him anything. It is right for the poor brother to be proud of his high rank and the rich one to be thankful that he has been humbled because riches last no longer than the flowers and the grass. The scorching sun comes up and the grass withers, the flower fades, what looks so beautiful now disappears. It is the same with a rich man, his business goes on, he himself perishes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your love come upon me and I shall live. Let your love come up to me and I shall live. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and your deeds are good. Teach me your statute. Let your law come, come to me and I shall live. It was good for me to be afflicted, to learn your statute. The law from your mouth means more to me than silver and gold. Let, Let your law come, come to me and I shall live. Lord, I know that your decrees are right, that you afflicted me justly. Let your love be ready to console me by your promise to your servant. Let, Let your, your love, love come, come to me, me and I shall live. Let us stand for the darkness. Alleluia, alleluia. Harden not your hearts today, <coughs> but listen to the voice of the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Pharisees came up and started a discussion with Jesus. They demanded of him a sign from heaven to test him. And with a sigh that came straight from the heart, he said, Why does this generation demand a sign? I tell you solemnly, no sign shall be given to this generation and leaving them again, and re-embarking, he went away to the opposite shore. The Gospel of the Lord. You, 
if faith is central to biblical religion, we need to keep our faith authentic. Today's gospel says that authentic faith is not primarily based on miracles. When some critics went to test Jesus and ask him for some heavenly sign, he sighs and regrets the weakness of their faith. St. James, whose epistle we began to read today, points out that true faith is put to the test. It is authentic if it helps us through every sort of trial. Faith that is tested makes us and makes for endurance and it keeps a person steadfastly holding on to God. It is not an arrogant self-confidence but a trust based on God's fidelity. Such a level of faith helps us through dark times with hope for new life. Let us pray. Forgive us, Lord Jesus, if ever we waver between faith and doubt or hanker after more evidence of God's love. Help us to see that your cross is all the sign we need. Lord, hear us. We ask Our Lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> may this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, true your beloved Son Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as a Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so the angels and all the saints will declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to request you eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not ready that you should enter under my roof. 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended.